The school is situated in one of the oldest and most historic districts in Manila, which is Malate. Malate boasts of the most spectacular sunset in the world, which can be viewed in its boundary along Manila Bay. The Our Lady of Remley's Church is one of the grandest and most visited churches in the city, having been built during the Spanish times. It bears the architectural style of the era. The foremost propagandist and hero, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, handed with a life-size monument in Remedio Street. Malate is both commercial and residential. Many industrial establishments are found and cater to the demands of city life. Business offices, placement agencies, shops, internet cafes and restaurants abound in the area. Public and private educational institutions also serve the needs of the community for quality basic and tertiary education. Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School, which is located in Singalong Street, bounded by Hulinakpil, General Miguel Malvar, and Francisco Benitez Street is one of the community landmarks. Its pupils come from Malate and the neighboring settlements of Paco and San Andres. The school near two buildings which are occupied by the two religious communities, the Slumbang Fathers and the Religious Virgin Mary. It is in the heart of the community where middle-income class families live and where small-scale industries are usually found. By and large, it is a peaceful community with well-paved roads lined up with ornamental plants and trees. Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School, which was named originally as Heron Primary School, was first established utilizing rented school houses in March 1923. The principal was attorney Pablo Canizares. It was renamed Singalong Elementary School in 1924. After attorney Canizares' retirement in 1934, he was succeeded by Mrs. Virginia M. Benaflor, who served for a few months only, and was replaced by Mr. Sixto Legaspi on the same year. Mrs. Felicidad D. Martin came next in 1935. During Mrs. Efejinha B. Wichanko's administration, Singalong Elementary School was renamed One Luna Elementary School through a Manila Resolution in 1937. Unfortunately, the name was given to San Sebastian Elementary School situated at Catalunya Street, Sampaloc, Manila. Thus, in 1938, Singalong Elementary School was changed to Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School in honor of Epifanio de los Santos, the great scholar, writer, and historian. Due to the influx of enrollment in different grade levels, three additional schoolhouses were rented. These were located at Vita Cruz Street, San Marcelino Street, and Singalong Street. At the outbreak of World War II during the Japanese occupation, the school was closed. Its buildings were occupied by the Japanese Imperial Army, after which were totally burned after they left. It was reopened in 1946 at San Andres Subdivision renting schoolhouses again. The principal then was Mr. Simeon Agustin with total population of 18 teachers. Through the Philippines Rehabilitation Act of 1946, Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School real edifice was built. The school had a big library and museum. Since then, through the efforts of the different principals assigned one after the other, it was consistently improving. In 1959, an annex building was added to accommodate additional classes. This is the Uson Annex located at San Marcelino Street. Later in 1968, Uson Annex became independent and named Gabriela Silang Primary School. This separation did not affect the enrollment at Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School. Instead, Additional prefabricated Marcos type school buildings were built along Julio Nakpil Street to accommodate the grade 1 and grade 2 classes. The next group of intellectual principals, namely Mr. Jose Valdivieso, Mr. Rinaldo M. Resurrection, Mrs. Jesusa Corcuera, and Mrs. Lucia Pinera, from 1954 to 1981, worked hard to bring Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School to the limelight. Mrs. Herminia Edeza did her best too. 
she was able to realize the renovation of the school buildings from old wooden structures to concrete ones until 1983. The school building constructed during her term of office was the Havana type which was inaugurated last November 11, 1983. In May 1985, the classes at Gabriela Silang Primary School were dissolved. The pupils and most of the teachers were transferred to Epifanio de los Santos Elementary School.